Inside Pictures is a film business and leadership skills development program aimed at senior executives and producers. Each year we take 10 producers and 10 executives from across the film industry. We bring them together and we take them through a modular program, networking them with um, executives in Europe, but also in the US. The funding um, from Creative Europe in 2011 was when the program then opened its doors to the whole of Europe. Um, and by the end of the cycle, uh, the program will have received 10 years of funding from Creative Europe. For the years leading up to 2011, um, the program had been funding, funded through the UK government, but that funding was waning and has continued to wane. And the, the, the push of, of money from Creative Europe allowed the program to not only expand and to open up to the whole of Europe, but to carry on for all this time. The founding purpose of Inside Pictures was always to give participants exposure to all aspects of the industry, what we term a full 360 degree overview of the industry. Having the opportunity to form lifelong relationships in an ever-changing global industry is vital for our participants. And the bonds that, that are formed on the programme continue long after the program ends. We have in excess of 200 alumni uh, on the Inside Pictures program and it is often said by our participants when they apply to the program that the most important aspect for is access to the alumni and those relationships that they are going to form that are going to enable them to work outside of the, you know, the, their, their countries of, 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 um, of expertise, where, they, you know, where they've honed their craft, um, the Inside Pictures program allows them to, to broaden those horizons and really start expanding and working within the global industry and especially within the European industry. The, the kind of expansion from having a UK only cohort to having a, a European cohort has raised the game on both sides for, for the UK participants as well as for the European participants. And that is the purpose of the programme, is, is to raise your game as a, as a professional working in this industry. The UK participants have seen just how creative uh, the, the Europeans are for having, or the continental Europeans are with all their networks, all their funding networks, all their, all their soft funding networks. And, and the continental Europeans have had access to, to, to the UK industry, which is very strong in terms of storytelling and, 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 and access then further you know, into the US industry. So I think it's really benefited both sides. In terms of long-term impacts of the course, I think we can talk about them in, in, in two areas. First, uh, the long-term impacts on participants who've, who've come on the course and then also long-term impacts on us. Just the fact that we will have been funded for 10 years running in itself is, is quite an achievement. That's allowed us to grow the program. So to, to start off with, a, with, with, with the basic structure, but then to develop it, to, to have ideas about how to develop it and how to help participants. So we've had different um, other, uh, We've had different activities like mentoring that we've tried or um, different ways of networking. We've just been able to develop our ideas and fine tune what we deliver to the participants um, and, and promote it and also really significantly grow our network. So when the funding started in 2011, the program didn't have any links with Europe or with potential applicants to call on. And now we have you know, eight, nine years of participants who've come from continental Europe. We have their network and we can call other participants to join using our alumni effectively. And that has taken a decade to build. In terms of participants, I think uh, any participant would tell you that what the biggest long-term impact for them is the network that they form within their year group. So that, that last, that, that lasts beyond their, their year on the programme, that will follow them throughout their career. 
uh, they will have someone to call on from every part of the industry to either discuss a, a business issue with or even to grow companies and, and, and make projects with. So there's numerous examples of participants who have come together to grow their business internationally, to create outposts out in the US or across Europe, um, or who have come together on projects that may have even originated on the program and something that they pitched uh, as part of the project work on the program. So that net, the network that they build and the network they come into when they join the program, the network of alumni that they have, it's a sort of um, a family, really, a very much a family that meets up you know, yearly or at various locations um, and that they can feel they can call on. It's not just a cold call anymore, it's, it's a friendly call. My favorite takeaway from, from this year, a year that's been uh, difficult for a lot of people and you know, was, a, was a, a baptism of fire by all, in all honesty for me. My favorite memory uh, was our very last session on the very last day when our participants were, um, had a session with a, a business coach and he asked them all to share um, their experiences of the program. Um, and it was one of the most moving things I, I, I was, was witness to because we had 20 people who all said quite rightly that at the start of the program, they really, really were not sure that undertaking it in these conditions, having to do it online, not having the opportunity to ever be in a room together, not having the opportunity to have those networking events, they really questioned whether or not it was the right thing to do. Um, one of the participants told the story that he was actually advised by alumni, an alumni of the program not to do the program. He was told, don't do it this year, wait and do it next year when you can, when you can travel and you can do the networking events and you can go to LA. And he actually said he was wrong. He was so wrong. I am so glad that I took part in the program this year. This has been the most fantastic experience for me. I feel I have made 19 lifelong friends and, and you know, and people that I will collaborate with for the rest of my life. And they all said the same thing. They all, despite the fact that, that, that um, the world had conspired against them and they were never able to come together in person. It hasn't stopped them from forming the most amazing bond. My favourite memory of working on Inside Pictures, um, and it was a credit to, to everything that we'd done, we'd spent a long time building inroads to the US industry, various speakers, and of course, the likes of Netflix are always the kind of golden speaker that you want to get on the programme. And we had uh, quite a, we were building a very good relationship with an executive at Netflix who would open the doors regularly to have, uh, you know, to speak to the particip participants when we went there. And I will never forget the moment that an email landed from this executive one, one day in February, where he wanted to have the list of people who'd passed through the program. Um, because they were, it was at the stage when Netflix were, were building their inroads into Europe. And he recognized that we were a program that reached out to people, to really good people, and he wanted access to our network. And I thought that was a real credit to us. I hope that following Brexit, whatever that looks like, and of I guess at the moment, none of us know what that looks like, but whatever it looks like, I really, really hope that we can continue to bring participants together from across Europe to enable them to, to form those crucial bonds with each other, uh, to enable them to learn from each other. Um, I, I, I hope that um, our, you know, our, our colleagues in Europe will um, continue to embrace the idea of, of working with, uh, uh, with, with um, producers and executives in the UK. And I have no doubt that producers and executives in the UK will, will want to continue working with, with our colleagues in Europe. And, and I hope that we are able to continue to facilitate that. Um, and uh, and that, that, you know, the film industry, um, you know, is, is able to... Um, continue to to produce the you know the the the, the great 
great work that has that has come from from relationships that have been formed between UK and European com companies and 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 uh, and individuals.